G'day everybody, it's Brian from Hands On Kawasaki here and welcome to Tech Tips. Today we're going to give you an insight into your road bike tyre life and pressures, uh, looking after them and hopefully uh, you guys can pick up something to make your road bike riding a lot safer and get some value for money out of your road bike tyres. The most important thing for most people out there with their road bikes is just keeping an eye on the actual tyre itself and the pressure. The two go hand in hand. It can make the difference of over half accelerated wear from having incorrect tyre pressures. So the difference between getting 2,000 kilometres to 6,000 kilometres out of your road bike tyres can simply come down to tyre pressure. Tyre wear, apart from visually looking at the tyre yourself, there are some set rules in place for the roadworthy side of it. The general rule of thumb is 1.5 millimetres of tread depth. We use a tread depth indicator to actually measure the tyre. The tyre treads simply on the tyre to remove the water uh, riding on a wet road. That's basically why it's there. The other thing that accelerates tyre wear is the road camber. Our roads are actually cambered and the tyre can scallop out on the corners of the tyres or the edges if you like. The other thing we need to look for on a tyre when we're having an inspection is also cracking. That can be evident particularly in the sidewall from the tyre being underinflated and also showing signs of age. They will crack. When you're simply adjusting your chain or doing your tyre pressures, visually inspect the tyre for cracking and degrading. You should be checking your tyre pressures monthly regardless of whether the bike is ridden every day or it's only used for recreation. You'll find that the bike will actually feel quite heavy in the steering with low tyre pressure. Uh, that's a really good indication that your tyre pressure needs to be checked. Okay, so we want to check the pressure on our road bike. We've got the bike up on a stand. Simple case of just removing the valve cap. Good quality tyre pressure gauge is the key to it. Checking the pressure and we've consulted our owner's manual that says it should have 32 psi in it and we're at 25. We need to add some air. Okay, so we're at our desired pressure of 32 pounds as per our owner's book. Lucky last thing to do is fit the valve cap. Valve caps do a number of things with centrifugal force at high speed. The tyre can deflate, the valve will actually uh, start to lose air pressure and it also keeps dirt, road grime, all sorts of things out of the valve to stop the tyre deflating. Hopefully you've picked up some valuable tips on getting more value for money out of your tyres and also some safety out of your tyres because remember, there's only that much rubber underneath you, so keep it rubber side down and we'll see you next time.